This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. What's that got to do with that? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. I'm listening. S O. Wait for it. S. Let's get nosy then. Send me the location. I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Miss? Right, you're five seconds before I snap whatever this thing is in half. It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right. You got me attention. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Bagley, Sabine, can you give me the rundown? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example, and in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Ah, shite. That CS cunt's not here. And it looks like there was an altercation. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right. I'll give it a go. Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. Oh, 
That appears to be our contact. Jesus. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. Albion presence in London? I think they do, frankly. I mean, think about it. Maybe if we'd had them on the streets earlier, they could have... It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Mercs? Huh. We thought they'd be serious. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Ha ha. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it then. I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. That's, 
It's not me. I swear to God. Please. Please. If that beating keeps up, he's going to die and we're going to have no idea why. Bagley, coordinates, now. Hey, hey, relax, relax. I'm fucking dead sick. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. I don't know for sure I've betrayed them. Seriously, who just saved you? No, you've just damned us both. Look, 
I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. How about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley makes your intel. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. He strikes me as a good man, trapped in a bad system. We should check his intel at least. All right, one second. You know your onions, Bagley. Check his intel, then organize a briefing for us, will you? step on your idea, but I don't trust this guy. We should walk away. I beg to differ. He needs our help. May I present a third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good plan. Hmm, fine. All right. This is a bad one. Someone in 404 sent me a text file. Dead Sex International safe houses have been compromised. Does the name Heath Bolton mean anything to you? Nah. Didn't think so. Bolton was a small time player with Dead Sex Houston until he ratted out the whole cell and fled the country. Now he's in London and he's willing to sell all of Dead Sex secrets to the highest bidder. Bollocks. Yeah, I know. Being associated with Dead Sex has been good for my brand and I don't want that getting fucked. I'll send you this text file. The rest is up to you. The American State Department keeps tabs on all their citizens abroad. If you want to find Heath Bolton, hack the CTOS hub at the American Embassy, and I can use their records to track him down. Cheers, bruv. This is the American Embassy. Hack the server, and we should be able to find where Heath Bolton is.
Turn up. The Americans don't know where Bolton is either. They're trying to find him too. Hold up. What? I need some time to find more information, but due to the investigation, the State Department had special monitoring set up on Bolton's file. Long story short, you have an Albion response team incoming. Fucking fuck. Just stay there, don't die, and I'll find us a lead. Unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. <laughs> American investigators, Heath Bolton arrived in London at St Pancras Station, as so many do, but then he vanished, which is also becoming increasingly popular. 
Why, right, thanks, bro. Some useful info right there. Understood. Pushing you the coordinates now. You've arrived at St Pancras Station. This is where Heath Bolton went missing, along with a load of data on DedSec's international safe houses. Cheers, bruv. Someone going missing here screams Albion in a very obnoxiously sarcastic voice. Try looking in all the secure areas, control rooms, evidence lockers, jock straps, whatever they have, really. They're here somewhere. <laughs>
Yo, fam, found a dead bloke. Must be Bolton. Well, that's one mystery solved. Keep looking for evidence of what happened to him. We still need to track down the data he stole on DedSec safe houses. Check the surroundings. I fucking swear, I never was. I'm, I'm a hacker. I steal data and I sell it. That's it. Signing up was was just the easiest way to. You must think I'm a moron, Mr. Bolton. You, a self-professed hacker, expect me to connect your physical device to my state-of-the-art supercomputer? You think, uh, is that what this is? No, 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 it's not a rubber ducky, I swear to Christ! But I've no way of knowing that, do I? So I have another proposal. Simply, tell me where dead sex safe houses are. If the information's good, then Mr. Falstaff will stop doing this. <laughs> Shit. Is he... Ah, oh, fuck me. I'll go see if one of the mercs has a defib kit. No, don't. We had to kill him anyway, and if more people know, well, that makes it... Right. So... what? Uh, official story is, he just vanished. Plausible, considering his known terrorist connections. If the Yanks buy it, then we come back and collect these drives. See if there was anything to his story. The fuck is this, Bags? This is an audio log of the service's interrogation of Heath Bolton. To summarise, they didn't believe he was as ex-deadsec as he claimed to be. You what? Listen for yourself if you like. The important thing is he was keeping his information on deadsec safe houses on physical media, like a complete blank. The devices will still be around the station, aching to be destroyed. Data's destroyed. Now SIRS got nothing out of Heath Bolton but an earful of whining and an unmopped floor. Cheers, bruv. Right, question. Any plans for that torture recording you found? If not, can I have it? Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Why? I know a few tabloids that'll pay well for it. Cut you in, of course. If that story got out, it would be very embarrassing for SIRS. All right, let's do this. Dead good. Tar dead sec. And well done.